All right, guys, so today I wanna to talk about storage. Um, I don't know about you, but we got a lot of crap. Um, so I'm trying to figure out a, a really um, productive way of storing all of our stuff, whether it's our Christmas decorations or things like our old yearbooks that we obviously wanna keep, but we don't need to necessarily need to have them at arm's reach. So what I'm trying to do is organize our garage, and our garage is pretty much packed at the we can't put we can't fit anything else in our garage at this point so i'm trying to see what the next option is and it's like okay well we have this whole attic space that we're not using but let me be clear it's not like this luxurious attic where we can just walk up and like we have all this space to roam around there's like beams and venting for our ac unit and it's a big mess there's wires going through everywhere but there are some patches where we could maybe lay down some plywood and put a few bins up there and what i really want to store in the garage are memorabilia things that we don't need to have access to at all times like our old yearbooks and old basically our old stuff from like high school and college and stuff so that's what I'm gonna do today. So I partnered with the Home Depot and I actually already got the plywood and I think, I, you know what, I'm taking credit for this. I did not get the plywood. My husband got the plywood and my husband is the one that measured everything and laid everything up in the attic. So I wanna show you our progress so far before we put any of our bins in um, because it's kinda cool. We made a little bit of some storage space and I think it's something that you can maybe do in your attic or in like a portion of your attic because my house is really old. It was built in the 1940s. My attic is not that usable, but there is pockets of usable space. So come with me. Oh, and disclaimer, the, the way the attic comes down, it's like one of those old ladders that comes down from like the ceiling. Um, it's literally right in front of my kid's bedroom and they're taking a nap right now. So I think we might have to whisper through this next part. Okay. Okay, so we made it in my glamorous attic. Um, what my husband did here, he said, took a little, some plywood and he created a path because everything is two by fours and then all of this is insulation, which is like, it just looks so gross. Anyways, that's a whole other topic. Um, so what we did is we put some plywood here to kind of create like a pathway and then we're gonna get a little bit more plywood to put here and then this area over there is where we create, created our storage area we're gonna be able to stack a few bins and just kind of like, I don't know, make some space. Um, and that's all we've done. So we're in the process, but I feel like this is the best we can do with our given situation. But I, this is just goes to show that you can totally make some space in your attic and make it work for you and your family. Give me some tips. If you've ever done this before, like I need tips because we're new to this whole homeowner situation, storing stuff in the attic. I wish we had one of those cool finished attics. Like you see in the movies where like you go up there and there's like old bicycles and rocking chairs and anyways. Well, this is what I'm dealing with. Until next time.